What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're doing the car thing. We're doing the, the Smash JT thing. That's the that's the end thing right now. Everybody's talking in their car. It's perfect. You know, I used to shoot segments of videos in my car. If you guys go through my videos and it's a place uh, for me, it's a place of serenity where I unwind, get my head right after work, you know, get in good spirits and then, uh, you know, go home, go home to the family. And you know, it's fucked up about my ride home. There's a lot of deer where I live at, right? I don't live like smack dab in the city anymore. I did for, God, the better part of 15 years. But anyway, it's deer season out here 12 months out of the year. You know, I used to have a, um, you know, I don't like talking about stuff and things, but I had this Lexus, right? It was an ISF 250. You know, well, it didn't have the biggest engine or anything, but it was a car. I took pride in it. I took care of it. I had, you know, all kind of performance parts on it and shit. And I was coming through here. I, I used to fly down through these roads, like, you know, going like a hunter. You know, I'd have my stepson in the car. It's kind of really messed up what I would be doing. I'd try to scare my stepson. I'd go down these roads going like 120, like, like it was nothing. That's, I don't drive like that anymore, but I remember one day I was driving the speed limit. You know, I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing. Um, you know, I drive for a living, for those of you that don't know. Um, so I'm driving all the time. And, uh, you know, I was going to see my parents, actually. I was going the speed limit, probably a little bit under and I see these two deer come flying out and it's kind of funny that I'm talking about deer right now because like it'd be really ironic if I hit a fucking deer on my ride home so I got my eyes peeled but anyway I see these two deer flying out I'm on my way to see my parents in the in the Lexus and I didn't hit them and I remember thinking like oh god thank god I didn't hit a deer and then another deer came out and it was so fast that I hit this deer I mean I've hit a few deer in my day but it was just like Boop. And then the next thing you know, I got like smoke and shit flying out from underneath my hood. And I ended up getting the car fixed. And I mean, it was fine. But I ended up actually getting rid of that car. I'm kind of glad that I hit the deer now. Because that car cost me 500 bucks a month. Um, not even including the insurance. I mean, I got low insurance because uh, you know, I don't get accidents. Other than hitting deer, you know. Um, but, you know, I come home and I see all these deer signs and I'm thinking to myself, like, when is it not deer season? Like, I, I'm always seeing dead deer on the side of the road. You know, out here, you know, we have dead deer, but they don't stay on the side of the road for long because we have these, like, big, black, like, fucking, like, buzzard hawk things. And they, they're like, they're like the nature's, like, recyclers, man. These little, these guys, well, they're little, they're big. These are, like, giant hawks like buzzard things right but they they do a pretty good job of cleaning up like deer carcasses and you know it's nothing to see one of those big bastards come down and pick up like a whole dead fox or a raccoon or you know all kind of kind of roadkill that we have out here and there's a lot of roadkill out here as a matter of fact one of the vacation destination places in my area is uh, ocean city and back in ocean city like i remember going there as a kid and all the gift shops would sell like crazy t-shirts and uh, you'd have like, the, I don't know if you guys remember back in the 90s, the Big Johnson shirt where he was like the little skinny guy, but you know, the joke of the shirt is the dude's got like a giant fucking like monster dick. And uh, it was just like funny like ways of wording, you know, that this like little short little dude has this giant monster uh, meat hammer, you know? <laughs> and um, there'd be like hot chicks all standing around him and stuff. And I'm, I'm trying to think of an example of a shirt, but you know, I'm sure you can Google it and see what I'm talking about. But those of you that are in your, your mid to late 30s, know what I'm talking about those big Johnson t-shirts but um yeah anyway I totally lost my train of thought um Ocean City though Ocean City is probably like the this is gonna sound real corny especially for me living from in Maryland um like for vacation like what I look at as a vacation is going to Ocean City you know for a weekend like I don't I can't think of a time in like the last 15 years of like me working a legitimate job that I ever actually took time off to go on vacation. And you know, I've had jobs that would pay for me to go on vacation or if I even asked, you know, I, I was at a point with this one company I used to work for, this telemarketing company, where I, I guarantee you if I was like, you know, let me take a week off, I bet you like my the, my boss, the owner of the company, who's actually a friend of mine, he probably would not only have been cool with it, he might have even help pay for me to go somewhere you know what I mean I the dude was gonna fly me to Mexico for uh an event that was going on down there one time and, and I ended up not going but that's a that's a story all into itself that is a as a matter of fact now that we're on the, the topic of like non-gaming related things like I've really been thinking about you know 
I'm not saying I'm going to write a book or anything, but maybe chronicle uh, the events that, that took me out to Baltimore and, and the crazy, and not even the the small part of it's the events that led me out here. The big part of it is what I did after I got here in ba- to Baltimore, because I have been involved with some really crazy stuff. A lot of stuff. I don't know if I should talk about it. Um, you know, a lot of stuff I've been thinking. I don't. I don't really think that any harm uh, could could come from it. But you know, again, I don't know. So I, I definitely have to talk to a legal uh, professional because I don't want to, you know, put you know any of my story out there on the street and in the wrong ears. You know, here, you know, that's the last thing that I want. But if I hear that it is okay, I will start sharing. Uh, a couple of stories and and you know I was thinking about like some of the stories I got I was actually thinking about going on um, someone else's channel who actually has a pretty you know monster channel Um, I was thinking about you know just asking him if I could uh, you know be a guest on his channel just to just to kind of get some of my stuff out there because you know some of the stuff that I've done I just feel like it would be really entertaining and and people would really want to hear it and as a matter of fact, right, this is, I, I used one in a YouTube video one time, but man, I have some some audio of one of my past jobs that is so funny, like, you guys would love it. Like, if you love, like, the Jerky Boys, or I don't know if you ever heard of uh, Longmont Potion Castle, you guys would love some of the stuff that I got. You know, maybe I'll make, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And those of you that follow me, I will totally do this for you. Right. As long as you promise not to upload it online, I will make audio CDs and send them out there to you guys to, for, you know, for some of you to check out. And you let me know if you know I should upload some of this stuff to YouTube because um, you know I think some of it's, it's it's pretty killer. And the funny thing about it is, yeah, like all of it's like like prank. Well, it it's not only prank shit; it's like work shit. So it's real. And I I think that some of you guys will really get a kick out of it. But, uh, yeah, gaming. Okay, gaming. Where am I at in gaming right now? I am what I consider to be probably halfway through Yeez 8. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, spoil the game for anybody that hasn't played it. But, you know, you let me know where I'm at in the game. Okay, I am, um, you know, Dana. Dana, she's getting uh, more, I'm getting more invested in, in Dana, you know, going over uh, with, without spoiling anything, you know, over to that side of things. You know, it's happening with her, you know, uh, getting more of her side of the story, you know, more and more and more. Whereas earlier in the in the story, it was like, you know, once every, you know, couple of hours. So, um, you know, the little girl, I forget her name, the little girl that has the little snaggle tooth, right? I met up with her father, or what she considers to be her father. So that's where I am at in Yeez 8. So, you know, let me know. You know, I think I'm about halfway through. Usually, if an RPG, like if I go online and I type in, you know, how long, what's that one website? How long does it take to beat? And it says, um, you know, quick playthrough, um, you know, if you want 100% a game, it tells you the time frame, the average time frame that people get these games done in. Usually, if the average time frame is 48 hours, I'll be on there 120 hours and not because I like to 100% a game. You know, sometimes if I'm really invested in a game, yes, I will not try to 100% it, but I'll try to experience, you know, every side quest and everything like that that the game has to offer. Try to, you know, leveling leveling up equipment and, you know, if there's any kind of alchemy system, you know, adding different elements to your weapons, you know, shit like that, you know what I mean? I'll get I'll get real heavy into shit like that when my, when my mind gets real attached to it. But, you know, other than that, I'll try to 100% it. But, you know, there's a lot of times where I fall asleep with the controller in my hand, you know, and, and if I blow through eight, that's like eight hours right there. So you can see where, you know, that, that's happening maybe two or three times per gameplay. So Yeez 8, I, I did kind of sit with the controller in my hand. Like if me and my woman are on the couch watching TV and, you know, she put she likes to watch a lot of like, you know, indie TV shows and movies. She's not really into gaming at all. But uh, we're on the couch, right? And uh, she watch, she pulls up a good show. Um you know, I'll be like, damn, and I'll put the switch down, or you know, I'm usually on the couch with the switch, and then I'll watch the show, and then, you know, sometimes I'll forget to put the switch in standby mode or whatever, so, you know, time will go by that way, too, so, yeah, usually for me, a 48-hour game is about 120 hours, 
And, um, you know, guys, I really want to watch a good TV show, you know, so I'd be really interested to, you know, to hear what you guys have to say about, you know, what show should I watch? Um, you know, I like true crime, not true crime, but I like crime shows like The Wire, you know, for those of you that have seen The Wire, I love that show. You know, I like comedies like Workaholics, you know. Um, I'll tell you one of the more interesting shows that I've watched, you know, in the past maybe year or two. Um, if you guys watch the Rebel Gaming Club, um, I guess it's Dan, I think it was Dan. There was an episode where he talked about this show called The Tribe, and this was maybe a year or two ago. Um, and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty pretty cool. There's like teenagers and it's post-apocalyptic and it's like out of Europe. And um, I watched the first episode and then I watched all, what, 156 or whatever, however many episodes there are. For It took a long time for me to get through that because I worked, you know, I had a, a t-shirt shop at the time. That's actually when I started my YouTube channel. Um, I worked this job out there where I had to be there all the time. And I just, you know, I watched the tribe, you know, when I wasn't like in between customers coming in and stuff like that. And it took forever. I, you know, have a totally different career, you know, and uh, that, that transition happened when I was watching that show, the tribe. And, you know, it is a really cheesy show, you know, it's a cheesy show. It's uh, you guys might not like it. I fell in love with the show. I think it's great. The, the characters I think are phenomenal. You know, the cheesy acting I think adds to the charm. You know, it's the same reason why I love the cheesy voice acting in uh, Castle of Shikigami too. You know what I mean? If you guys know that game, that's some of the best worst voice acting there is. Um, as a matter of fact, that game stayed extremely cheap. I mean, it's still pretty cheap to this day, but it stayed extremely cheap. Uh, because of the terrible voice acting, and it wasn't until you know that kind of thing was popularized a couple of years ago, or not even I mean a couple of years ago maybe that you know the FMV shit and all that. It wasn't until that was repopularized that that game actually kind of went up a little bit in value, you know. But um, it's a shooter, so I could give a shit less if it had any kind of voice acting at all. You know, I don't really care about that kind of thing, but I love that it has it though. Don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, guys, um, let me know what you guys are playing this week. What show, you know, what show should I watch? You know, if it's a really good show, um, you know, I would, I would love to hear about it. As a matter of fact, that show, The Tribe, there was actually a book that was written um, after the show ended. You know, they, they kind of left the show on a cliffhanger, and then it was the, it was a series finale or whatever. It's like a cliffhanger. I was like, what? But I heard there was a book written that takes place about the events that happened after the last episode of The Tribe, or so I've heard. Um, so, I actually, I have that book. I'll, uh, maybe I'll showcase it in a YouTube video. Um, never talked about books on this channel, although there was a time in my life where I, I was clipping through books left and right. You know, it was kind of like, uh, like the books just as much as video games, to be honest with you. I've read some pretty good, uh, books in my time and, uh, Mr. Canadian Gamer, I know he's a, he's a reader, you know, he seems to have some book knowledge, so I'm sure he could, uh, probably point you in the direction of some pretty phenomenal books as well. Anyways, guys, love to hear from you in the comment section. Till next time, peace out.